Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new playthrough. This time around, if you didn't already figure out what the title meant, we're going to be playing Ratchet and Clank. Now this is not the PS3 version that I played a while back. This is the PS4 version. The game based on the movie based on the game. Now I have actually played the first couple minutes of this, but I had to redo it because the recording fudged up. But, uh, not really all that much happened, basically just a tutorial, but I'm just gonna pretend like I haven't played this. I actually haven't learned anything about this game other than the first couple minutes before. But I'm really looking forward to playing this because not only is this gonna be high quality, it being PS4, but it's also nice to be able to play another Ratchet and Clank game after Tools of Destruction failed me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically I played Tools of Destruction, or a copy of it, only to find out that it glitched so- Ugh, sorry. That was gross. It glitched so badly that it literally would not load past a certain part of the game. So being able to play this one makes me happy. Now, I actually did find out that this is the game that supports things called holo cards, and I remember reading about those a while back. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I am so excited for this. Yeah, usually it says new game, but you know. It has continued new game, because as I said, the last recording on this screwed up. We have casual, perfect for rookies. Enemies take it easy. Controls are simplified and the camera automatically adjusts. I'm trying to read from the screen on the computer. Cause this text is small. An adventure for experienced players whose middle name may or may not be danger. But it probably isn't because that would be weird. For expert players who like to fight, I, I don't know what that says. Sharkigators, barehanded, and walk away from explosions in slow motion. Let's go with normal. Now, before we begin, um, I will reiterate: this is a game based on the movie, based on the game. So, if you have not seen the movie, um, I honestly will say I don't know if this is basically the movie turned into a game, or if this is like an aftermath of the movie. So, yeah. Velden. The more gold bullets you find, the more extras you unlock. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, 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 yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits of the universe. Places that would make your bolts rattle. The eternity 
pits of sword doom, the iron holding no balance. <laughs> Greetings, new fish. I'm Captain Quark. I I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet and Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that lawn bags. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. I have done a smart. So I, I had to stop the recording right there, just in case the uh, game or recording fails on me again. And I will already have the opening cutscene done. So. Does that ship look mag lifted to you? Get on that fault crank. Come on, give it a spin. Okay. Let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up. Do you see something flashing? Isn't this the vehicle that Ratchet drove in the movie? Yep. Left side looks good. It's a miracle. Onto the afterburner lights. Look down. You see something? No, I'm thinking of tools of destruction. Lower left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. And so, Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Rise and shine, Kizzle Plateau. It's 8 a.m. and it's going to be a hot one today. Our first story is a sad one, folks. Last night at approximately 8.13 our time, Planet Tenemu fell to what appears to be a Class 7 supernova. President Byronics has issued a statement calling this a tragic natural disaster. But top know-it-alls are skeptical. This is the fourth planet we've lost in the last three months, leaving some to wonder, is there an evil force at play? Revered hero Captain Hook has issued a handwritten statement that reads, Wait, is it crayon? And Donnie, can you read any of this? It looks like a bunch of scribbles of some kind of duck. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure it was profound. Next, the first planetary conjunction in over a thousand years will occur next week. We'll call some single 30 something astrology enthusiasts and watch them lose their minds.
I want to buy those gravity coils. Sorry, I had to, like, stop and listen, because that was strangely entertaining to listen to. So, I guess this really is a retelling of the movie in game form. Now, that thing about the planets, that's not just some random, like, PA thing. Keep that in mind, because... Oh, it's the dragon. Uh, keep that in mind, because, uh... Friendly people, beautiful desert, all the barbecued sand toads you could ever eat. <laughs> Some people don't appreciate what they have, I suppose. Ain't that the truth, brother? Ain't that the truth? Ooh, look at all that high quality <laughs> currency collecting! Ooh, my god, that's gonna be satisfying throughout the entire game. What's the big deal about being a galactic ranger anyway? Bunch of action junkies looking to prove themselves by hurling their bodies in front of incoming bullets? Tip. Sounds like fool's work to me. I love how if you stick around, these guys have different things to say. So I'm going to be taking my sweet time with this game. Because I literally have nothing else to upload at the moment, except this first episode. I mean, I, I, I'll upload later after I record it. My point is, I have nothing else to record, so I'm going to be taking my sweet time on this. You know, if you want to take up a noble cause, why don't you clean up that loft of yours? The place is a fire trap, what with all of the dissembled engine parts you got up there? Sure, I'm a tidy person. Okay, what's it what's this mode? So, I'm, if I right-click the uh, right analog stick, not right-click, if I click the right analog stick down, it, is this like, is this like strafe mode? Or what is this? I don't know. It's probably camera mode. I don't know. Probably for a weapon later. You got anything else to say? Ooh. What the what? How did it- wait. Did I just hurt myself? How did I hurt myself? I don't- I- okay. That's new. Look, dude, look at these. <gasps> dude, it even has autofocus. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, I love this game already. I mean, I've always loved the Ratchet and Clank series ever since. They all come to me. They don't just lie around waiting for me to pick them up and they'll disappear. I mean, I guess they kind of do, but. It feels more efficient in this game. Oh, that's incredible. And look, in darkness, I have a... Wow. My, my wrench and my vest glow in case someone needs to find me in the dark. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. You can tell this is based on the first game because I'm not with Clank, my little robot friend. But I'm sure we'll meet him later. You know, that comment that the guy, I don't know his name, but the comment the guy said about how Ratchet would, uh, he doesn't know why Ratchet would want to leave this behind and how some people are just not grateful, or just not, something about them not being grateful for what they have. This is Ratchet's home, and I don't blame him for wanting to leave it, but 
Can you imagine if you had to leave planet Earth to go for another planet? You would be living all alone. And even if you were with a friend or family, a, lo a lot of other people, maybe even a million other people, would not be as willing to go with you. Because either they don't care or they love their home or something. Okay, so holding down left trigger does that. Oh, not left trigger. Holding, okay, holding down L2 and pressing square does this. So what does this do? It's probably like for precise aim. Dude, I can do a double backflip. That's awesome. <laughs> Damn, Ratchet, you're skilled. Okay, so what do I... Oh, look at that. I like how they have the light bulb still on, even though it's daylight. This is incredible. Look at how highly detailed all of this is. Look, you can see... What the heck is that? Wait! Those are fireworks! Dude, it's so it's so detailed you can see fireworks in friggin' lens flare daylight. This is why I love games like this. It's so highly, insanely, stupidly detailed and I love it! Oh my god, that's beautiful. I would be a lot more honest about how this makes me feel, but... You know, it's something that's better not said. Ratchet bashed his enemies using his trusty omni -wrench. That is so insanely gory. God, this game is awesome! In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time-honored tradition of jumping. <laughs> nice storytelling, Quark. Ooh, where did I get... Where did you come from? Big Al here. You've just collected your first holo card. You can earn single holo cards by defeating enemies. Or you can explore secret areas to find packs of three. Your goal is to complete a whole set of holo cards. Huh. Hey, that's me. Hmm. Oh cool, they even show you a picture of the planet. Huh. Not a lot of water. It must be very dry, I guess. I mean, it makes sense, considering all this. Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. <laughs> I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed like three out of five gunshot wounds. I love how they have Shiv interjecting. Like with his own little opinion, that's great. Woo! You guys came at me hard. So I'm assuming holo cards are gonna be kind of. Yes, I know. I know how to double jump, but thank you. I appreciate it. What's this? Oh, I think this is if I fall. Ooh, 
this is... This game is a... Wait. Okay, that's not a secret. Bombags displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe he was just saving up vaults so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, yeah. who's telling the story here? Mm, technically both of us. Because I'm controlling where Ratchet's going and not you. Ah, whatever. Quark is a dork. He does what he likes. I should pull the mic a little closer. I should also turn the game up a little more. Ooh! Oh my god, you scared me. His enemy is vanquished. Ratchet forged ahead. His destination? Destiny. There's so much to explore, so much to do, so much to destroy, so much to find. It's great! Games like this make me so happy. High quality. It's placing. Uh, uh, look at that. <laughs> I do not have a stroke, I just could not English. High quality. Places to explore. Secrets to uncover. Weapons to upgrade and buy. I love things like that. I intend to do all I can in this game. You can even see my own reflection. I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Oh, you're- oh, you're, okay, you're over here. I'll get to you in just a mo. These must be all the fans. That's- that's Quark up there. Oh my god, the irony. <laughs> They're always aware of their surroundings as I fall to my death. Okay, let's try this with a bit more tenacity, carefulness. A good ranger is always mindful of their surroundings. Hop across these moving platforms. Many of you have been asking for Good job. You could be the recruit we've been looking for. Keep moving to the next part of the course. Hey there, recruit. I'm Brax Lectris, and my specialty is brute force. Let's see how well you can bash these crates. Hey, that was pretty good. Keep moving. It's time to get our hands on some firepower. Go ahead and grab a fusion grenade glove from this Gadgetron vendor. Ooh. 
I love how they even show how it looks on you. I most definitely won't. Awesome. Next step, blow stuff up. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Oh. Oh, nice. Dude, these are these are so physical. Are you? Oh yeah, this game has auto aiming, doesn't it? Oh, that's what this mode is for. So when I when I click the right stick, it turns into auto aim mode. That's going to be helpful later on, I'm sure. In order to spice things up, we've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool. Good job, recruits. You may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Head to the final challenge. Come on, Ratchet. You can do this. An arena? Bring it on. It's time for the final challenge. Survive a brutal onslaught of enemies, and you just might be our next Galactic Ranger. Or maybe... One down. Looks like some angry toads. Haha! <laughs> Impressive. Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Excellent job, Cadet. Come see me after the show. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Another one it's now. always this easy. There's always a better challenge waiting for me. Unless it was actually that easy, in which, wow, I don't know why so many people... Ladies and gentlemen, the savior of Solana, Captain Quark. Hello, Veldin. Hello, Captain. He's on fire again. My name is Copernicus Quark, and yes, that was an impressive wall of fire I just walked past. I'm gonna be real with you folks for a moment. When President Phyronix recommended I take on a new ranger, I knew just where to go. That's right. We want you! Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Do I have what it takes? After all, you may not have prevented Dr. Nefarious from atomizing Illyro City. You may not have stopped Neptune Prague from rendering the entire population of Aridia colorblind. Twice. After all, you may not have this chiseled jaw or godlike pectoral region, but if you have heart, then you have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. But I have heart. Yes, but unfortunately, that heart is encased in a weak, muscleless mass of inexperience. Plus, there's your history to consider. I've got a long line of citations here. Possession of an illegal gravity repulsor. Operation of a black market accelerator. Willful disruption of the space time continuum. <laughs> that is a funny story. You're reckless. You're a loose cannon, and you're dangerous. That's my shtick. Wait, God. Just give me a chance. Sorry, no time. Galaxy in jeopardy. Get back out there. And remember, you can do anything. As long as you're me. Next! Meanwhile, on planet Quartu... Dr. Nefarious! The mad scientist who made all of this possible. Mad suggests cognitive impairment. I'm more of a vengeful scientist. 
I trust you're here to meet the troops. <laughs> State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers. State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers. State your prime up. Hmm. Hello. Defect detected. Preparing for immediate destruction. In three, two. Oh, a defect. Go play, Victor. The helpless defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the defect. You never disappoint. The fact the camera's going backwards unsettles me. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Is there a reason that the camera's going... Okay. I thought it was going to be like a chase scene. Feeble Defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless defect had to throw a spring bot, but where and how? That was almost dangerous. <clears throat> I wasn't even paying attention, I just... I'm getting very unsettled. Ooh! Okay, I was half right. No, I was completely right. Oh my jeez, oh my jeez, oh my jeez, oh my god. Quit your running, you useless piece of scrap! I'm not gonna stop running. Doodly doodly do, doodly doodly do, doodly doodly do. Get back here and let's settle this. Warbot to warbot. My question is, how is a small robot able to outrun you? Oh no, water. That was a little close for my liking. Wait, so he doesn't like water? Well, that's good to know. There must be a way out of here. There is, Clank, there is. Suddenly, the defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my pension for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? If you won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got him right where I want him. Hmm. Puzzle. Me, soul puzzle. So I kind of want to go over there. What if I just toss him right here? Um, nowhere.
And here he comes again. You think you can run from me? Not that brute again. Here, you miserable defect. Seriously, how is it I'm able to outrun you? I'm smaller than you, and my legs are shorter. Try outrunning this. I'm gonna rip you apart, sprocket by sprocket. Get away from me, good sir! Water! Ah! Yeah, serves you right. I must escape this place. Computer. Set coordinates for the Galactic Ranger home base. Destination set. We will never make it. But hey, what are you gonna do? Oh dear. Quickly tap and triangle will equip your previous weapon. I'm not even trying to record that. I don't know why it's saying that. I'll never be a ranger. <gasps> what? Shell damage. Sister board appears to be intact. Ah! I must get to Alero City. Dad. They are in danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, who's in danger? An army is coming. I must warn them. Hang on. Slow down. You've been in a crash. What do you say we get you back to my garage? I'll run a diagnostic and have you fixed up in no time. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. It's no problem. So, what do I call you? I suppose my proper designation is Warbot Defect B54296. Maybe I'll just call you Clank. My name's Ratchet. <laughs> Up and down. Yeah, there you go. You're a natural. A million thoughts race to Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive Warbot? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. This game has so much potential, and I look forward to playing it. So until next time, everyone, in the next episode of Rashad and Clank. We're gonna get back to the garage and see if we can fix up our new robotic friend, and see and and see from Ratchet's perspective what this army is he's going on about. We already know, but he doesn't yet. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, and if you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel.